Well, you have NC State and then a former graduate assistant who is battling leukemia fighting right now for access into this building. Today, uh, the North Carolina Sup uh, Supreme Court judge maintained a stay. Now, that stay prevents independent testing of this building for the time being. Well, I'd always welcome more testing. Um, they haven't given us too much information about what's been going on in there. NC State does have a web page dedicated to Poe Hall, and there you can find updates where the process stands to rid the building of toxic synthetic chemicals. A second round of testing was completed earlier this month. It found the primary source of PCBs were found in the building's HVAC supply. NC State says all of the samples collected were below EPA exposure levels. Nonetheless, a former student and his attorneys are still fighting for access inside to do their own testing. They believe environmental contamination may have been destroyed or altered. The case is in a holding pattern right now. A judge ruled this morning to maintain a stay. Those fighting for access plan to respond to the court's order in the next 10 days. So ahead at 6 o'clock, what the university says are the next steps for this building. We'll break that down ahead at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Raleigh. Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.